and will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches? And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So, uh, Miriam and uh, Aaron were being rebuked for speaking up, coming up against Moses, right? And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. All right, so because Miriam came up against Moses, the heavenly father took away her pigmentation, because that's a curse. You don't want to look like the so-called white man. That's disgusting. The heavenly father is going to turn that right side up. All right. And the kingdom, when we see an Edomite, we're going to have to hold back ourselves from regurgitating because that's foul. All right. But it says uh, she was wept leprous. Verse 11. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us. You see that? It is a sin to look like the so-called white man. It is a sin to have leprosy. It is a sin to have no melanin on your skin. It's a blessing. That we got melanin as a people. Right? So it says, lay not this sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Okay? So, the so-called white man is dead. He represents death, decay. That's why everywhere he goes, death follows. What does the scripture say? Let's get that in Malachi real quick. Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau. And what's proof that the heavenly father hates Esau? Look at his flesh. Look at his skin. All right, it's death. It represents death. It represents sin. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will turn and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. All right, the heavenly father is going to let them build up just so we can destroy them. That's how much he hates them. And they're known as the border of wickedness, meaning everywhere they go, death, decay, and wickedness follows, right? And it says the people against whom the heavenly father, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahushai Ba'ashim, HaKadosh, had indignation forever. The Lord has built up anger and hatred and wrath upon these people forever, all right? So uh, let me get this real quick. Ended with Psalms 37, a little uh, a little uh, motivation for us right now, us hopeful elect waiting to be delivered. Let me get on, let me get, um, I'm going to get Psalms 37, but I'm going to get Proverbs 28 real quick. This is Proverbs 28 and 6. It says, uh, let's start at 25. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushat understand all things. All right, so the wicked don't even understand why they're cursed and why they look hideous, all right? They think it's a blessing. That's because they understand not judgment. That's the judgment of the Lord, all right? Verse 6, better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich, all right? So even though right now, for a season, we're, we're on the bottom right now, bottom of the totem pole, we're not flourishing, got a lot of money, got a lot of women, it's better that we got Heavenly Father's righteousness, which is his word, and then to be Esau, who's perverse in his way, though he has the world right now, because the Lord is about to destroy Esau, he's going to perish forever, we're going to reign forever, all right, so we're in a better predicament, all right, and I want, I'm, like I said, I'm going to end it with Psalms 37, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, and, uh, I'm going to read the first two verses, all right? It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, 